Now let's go to the lumbar spine for location methods and soon measurements. Iliac crest, Tafier spine. The iliac crests and the associated Tafier spine are major reference points in the lumbar region. The Tafier spine is located by palpating along the iliac crests from the center in a lateral direction until their highest points are reached. The Tafier spine is an imaginary horizontal line connecting those two points. The junction of this line with the spine generally marks the level of the spinous process of lumbar four. For a quick location in clinical practice, both hands are placed directly, superiorly, or laterally to the highest points of the iliac crests. Then the thumbs are joined in the center above the lumbar spine. However, it should be noted that layers of muscle and skin between the crests and the practitioner's hands may shift the tafier spine in a cranial direction. Caution. The position of the patient, standing, sitting, prone, as well as the individual anatomy of the pelvis and lumbar spine can significantly influence the level of the lumbar vertebrae in relation to the pelvis. Thus, the tafier spine will cross the spine at varying levels depending on whether the patient is sitting or in a prone position or if a standing patient presents with hyperlordosis of the lumbar spine and pelvic antiflexion or with hyper hypolordosis of the lumbar spine, pelvic retroflexion and shortened ischiocrural musculature. Hosbach, Hosbach, from University of Bochum, Germany, investigated the effect of a prone position as common in acupuncture treatments on the level of the tafier spine in relation to the lumbar spine. It seems that in this position, the line moves further down the spine to the level of the upper border of lumbar 5 or the space between L4, L5. However, the low number of cases studied does not merit a conclusive evaluation. To ensure the proper identification of L4, it is always recommended to use additional points of reference, such as the space between L5 and the sacrum or the lumbosacral joint. Now let's talk about the lumbosacral junction. Following orientation in the lumbar region with the help of the iliac crests, the lumbosacral joint can be located by counting the spinous processes in an inferior direction. It can generally be felt as a marked kink or depression, followed by the smaller spinous processes of the slightly convex median sacral crest directly below. Caution, note that according to the literature in up to 15% of cases, there can be lumbarization of the first sacral vertebra or sacralization of L5. In these cases, there will be either four or six lumbar vertebrae. Posterior superior iliac spine pieces. Another important landmark on the lower back is the posterior superior iliac spine, which forms the posterior end of the iliac crest lateral to the upper sacral region. The pieces can often be identified by two superficially visible dimples. It is best located by palpating from an inferior in a superior direction. If the dimples are not visible, they can be located by palpating three tsun from the rima ani in a superior and lateral direction at an angle of 45 degrees until a marked bony ridge can be felt. Generally, the PCs is located at the level of the space between the first and second sacral foramina so that bladder 27 is located directly medial or slightly superior and medial to the PCs, while bladder 28 is located just inferior and medial to the PCs.